I'd been here longer than I expected and certainly wanted before I caught the first fish of the session. I've had lots of liners, the feeding bubbles out there, but the first bite netted it. It's down there and I'm going to show you in a moment. It's a very nice fish actually, as you can see. Certainly happy to be off the mark with this tinker. And can you believe it? Well, of course you can because you're an angler. The hook came out in the net. How close was that? It's a fine line in many ways, isn't it, when you're fishing? I did my Bayside Radio angling slot chat with Jeff Pearson this morning and I was talking about fine margins. When you become a, an angler, you take it up for the first time. As the weeks and months go by, you move on in leaps and bounds because you've gone from a point of being nowhere to actually taking up fishing and enjoying it and learning a lot along the way. But when you've been an angler for many years, it's all about fine margins. You're still learning, but you're not learning in big steps, rather small ones along the way. And those fine margins can be like when I was lure fishing the other day and I switched from a two inch lure and a 0.7 gram jig head down to a one inch rubber fish and a 0.4 gram jig head and I caught small perch. Just fine margins and I'm getting another little tap there. Yeah. Yes, and I'm into one while I talk there. I don't think this is as big perhaps as that fish. Having said that, it's just come alive. <laughs> Fantastic. And let's hope, after quite a, a wait to get into the debut tent of the session, let's hope that, like the proverbial buses, or maybe the actual literal buses, they, you have to wait ages for one, and then they all turn up together lovely bend in the rod. I can't show you all of that of course because I'm on my own. I do film with an iPhone. It's an iPhone 5 so a really ancient one. I've worked through a couple of sixes since then and I now have an SE. That's my current phone but I tend to use the old ones that I had them on contract a couple of years and then you get a new one to replace it. Right let me just net this and I use it for filming. And I'll be back. It is a small tench. Well, I say small. If you've never caught a, a decent tench before, you're probably thinking, I wouldn't mind getting that one on the bank. And I'm certainly not complaining or putting the fish down in any way, shape or form. They're great, aren't they? Tinkers. I'm fishing over brown crumb and sweet corn and I'll show you the gear that I'm using just briefly because I do list it in the blog that this video will be part of on my website. There's the reel, there's the rod, the business equivative rod, the business end. Well, I've got six pound line right the way through. That's Maxima Chameleon. You can see a little bit of slime there from the tench. That's a quarter of an ounce lead. Well, actually that's a three eighths of an ounce lead and a small bead, a shot, Hook length about eight, nine inches there, size 10 hook and a grain of sweet corn. Right, let's cast out and see if I can get another fish in the net on the bank and in front of the camera. I didn't have long to wait either. I'm certainly in full swing at the moment. A much better fish than the previous one. I've had to give it quite a a run of line as well. I think the tide has turned though. I'm now bringing the fish in. It's coming through the baited area. It's not always a problem. I find that when the tench have got their heads down and you're bringing a fish through, it doesn't really make that much difference. Although, obviously you prefer to keep it away from the spot that you're fishing in. But they will return if they move that is of course yeah definitely feels like a 
a better fish this one and while I bring it in there are feeding bubbles coming to the surface just to highlight what I said there and that fish also has just topped it's high up in the water it's a nice day not quite chilly I wouldn't describe it as that but I've got my my suit on still although just uh a polo shirt beneath it yeah it's on the surface again I'm bringing it in let me net it and I'll be back not as big as I thought but certainly a, a feisty fish that was a fantastic session I certainly enjoyed that caught a few fish as well which always makes it better of course but just being out here a pair of oyster catchers flew over calling in flight so plenty of those last week in Anglesey you don't always see too many in the center of the country do you? in England in particular a pair of ravens as well lots of water birds it's great isn't it the world of nature and angling most definitely put you at the very heart of the natural world if you're out fishing yourself tight lines and don't forget to check out my website as well